Hello, we're Newport Coast, and we're here just finishing up an install of our stainless steel um, wine racks. So how this is all kind of came about was there is a, a major home builder in Newport Beach, California, or in, or in South Orange County, Valentine Construction. Um, they had a very unique project for Michael, who wanted just something completely unique, one of a kind. He has two wine rooms and wanted to have something that was polished stainless steel. So he came to me with an idea of trying to create something that be above and beyond anything else that someone's seen before. You know, he had a space, he called it the his basement, but it's a finished basement where it's kind of like the party room uh, where everybody's going to be, bar and all that good stuff. And so this was, this was the inspiration picture. This is where I won wine cellar of the year uh, for the Rob report for this seller. And I kind of changed it a little bit to be more of one of a kind. What I did is set the puck lights up here on uh, where the, where the larger Magnum bottle is. Uh, we made light panels on the bottom of the bottle. So you don't see any light coming up, but it all illuminates up. So some things we did differently too, is there's going to be no lighting on the rack itself. All the lighting is going to be on a back li uh, lit panel that is eliminate in an RGB. So it's going to have different, different lighting. So red and, and, and blues or greens or whatever colors that he wants to have for that, for that day. The walls are going to be uh, painted uh, Venetian plaster red. So it's going to be, it's going to be Ferrari red on the sides. You can see on one of them that they have Ferrari red color on the side walls. And it's also going to be on the ceiling. And once we left, they're going to finish out the panels to be up on the ceiling as well. So this is a 100% stainless steel, polished stainless steel. And this is for from Iron Wine Cellars. And we constructed this. Um, it took about four and a half weeks to construct this, this wine rack. Um, as you can see here, the light balance area, there's reveals right in the middle there. So there's one, two, three rows that have... Um, four rows actually that have a reveal to be able to put a light balance behind there or to just be able to showcase those specific bottles. In addition to that, as you can see, there's also a place for a ladder up on the top where there's a support rail. This is 100% custom. As of right now, that's what it's going to look like. That's the progress where we are at the moment. We chose to have a ducted unit is because this down, downstairs is going to be his bar, kind of a nightclub type feel to it. And so this is where a lot of people are going to be. And a ducted unit actually gives you completely quiet. And that's what we wanted to get out of it. That's what a customer wants, something like that. You know, he doesn't want to hear anything. You know, they're, they're enjoying themselves downstairs in the room. You know, we still wanted to have a unit that provides the temperature and humidity. This unit actually did do that as well. We, we programmed it to continue to be at 58 degrees, anywhere from 58 to 62 degrees. So the 10 foot high and 14 foot wide is, is the cellar that is now completed. This is the one that's downstairs. So the, the, there's the lighting that's up there as well as that is the duct, ducted area. Those two are the lights and that's the ducted area for the cooling unit. And this is just after it's been foamed. So it's called polyurethane is the best type of insulation that we get a specific contractor that does the spray foam and he applies about two and a half to three inches of foam material to the walls to make sure that the insulation and the vapor bear in the vapor barrier is installed properly but when it's correctly applied the spray foam ensures that there are no areas for vapor to penetrate through you really want to have zero air gaps because air, warm air with cool refrigerated air creates condensation. And this will not create that condensation on the glass. Uh, this one's, the racking should be done in about three weeks. We are, we are working on an electrical plan. Uh, this is a one of a kind, never seen before type of wine cellar. It is a definitely a wow factor. Because this is a new 
build the, the whole the entire home had to be built you know there's certain stages that we had to follow so we are now about 13 months in although the designs were the drawings were signed and manufacturing was started pretty much was a, a, a hurry up and wait mode because we had to wait for the client to get everything completed and uh, the only thing that's left is finishing the light panels finishing out the um, putting the acrylic on the back of the wine cellar and then the glass and then the most important which is filling it up with wine <laughs>